Hey what's up guys it's Robo and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to perfectly optimize the blue snowball to work with audacity so your voice can sound better. Now keep in mind I'm not using audacity to record in this video because I, I would have to have two audacity windows open and I don't really want to mess with that right now. Oh and by the way this tutorial is only for windows I'm not sure about Mac or Linux you're probably going to have to see another tutorial but this is just the best of my knowledge. So first off we're not even going to go to um, audacity first you want to go to this little sound icon down here and then right click and then press recording devices and then you want to find your blue snowball and then right click and then press properties then you want to go over here and then go to advance now by default it was set to CD quality but if, if it's not set to that you're gonna to want to set it to 48,000 Hertz um, so you just get the best possible quality that you can get out of your blue snowball okay now once that's done you're gonna press OK and then you're, you're gonna close this and then you're gonna open audacity Okay, now once you're in Audacity, you're going to want to go up to Edit and then go down to Preferences or just press Control P. Now, I set this to 48,000 Hertz as well. By, by default, it was 44,100 Hertz. So you're just going to want to set that to 48,000 Hertz. Make sure it's on a 32 bit float. I have both of these to best quality. Um, you don't have to do that, but that's just what I do. Okay, now once you're done with that, you're just going to want to press OK. And now we're done with the settings portion of this video. So now what I want you to guys to do, and this is just a good practice to do in all your videos, is to uh, start recording and then wait for three seconds so you can single out the background noise so later in post when we remove it, Audacity knows what the background noise is and where to remove it. So let's get started. Hey what's up guys, it's Robo and welcome back to a test recording. Okay now that we're done with that, we're going to listen to it back. Hey what's up guys it's Robo and welcome back to a test recording. Okay so pretty trash. The first thing I want you guys to do is to go over here and select all of this, all the background noise. There's not as much background noise as there was before. Now I want you guys to reselect it, go to effect, normalize, and then copy down these settings, make sure it's negative one decibels and then have these two checked and then press OK. And then you see it made it a little bit louder. So it's, it's a little bit louder. Hey what's up guys it's Robo and welcome back to a test recording. But it's still it's still not the best um, audio so now we're gonna double click it again or just keep it all selected and then go to effect compressor and copy down all these settings negative 18 decibels negative 40 decibels 2 to 1 ratio 0.5 seconds and 1 second and then make sure these two are unchecked and then press OK and now it's going to um, compress the audio so it it kind of smooths it out so there's not as many sharp bursts of audio I, I don't know how to explain it but um, you get the gist of it now keep in mind guys if you do have longer audio files like 20 minutes 30 minutes 40 minutes it is going to take a while maybe like at most five minutes to do all of these steps but it should be worthwhile having better audio quality in your videos okay next step is to go to effect equalization click on this little drop down arrow go to bass boost and then press ok now i want you to go to equalization again and instead of bass boost go to treble boost and then press ok now we're going to do normalize one more time so we can just smooth that out and what I like to do after that is I like to select the background noise again because because boosting the bass and treble tends to bring up more background noise from the background so I would like to um, I'm going to do this one more time and then reselect effect noise reduction okay and actually probably I should have waited to do uh, normalize until after I did the second noise reduction but that's fine so now we normalized it and let's see how it sounds hey what's up guys it's Robo and welcome back to a test recording now obviously it isn't the best I am a little bit under the weather right now but it sounds a lot better than what we had before when we first started recording I hope this tutorial helps a few of you guys out I know you guys I know some of you guys are trying to be YouTubers, so I just thought I'd do this to help you guys out. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want more tutorials like this. And yeah, I will see you guys later. Peace.